Welcome to Reread, where I'm rereading through the expanded universe in chronological order. Folks, we are on book three of the Jedi Quest series. It is called The Dangerous Games by Jude Watson. This is a fantastic one. i would forgotten how good this was. Uh, basically, there are some, it's kind of like the Olympic Games, but the great games of this planet where all the champions come to, you know, compete in different contests. And there's a council that runs the games and whatnot. And there's rules, uh, there's a code on the games too, and they, they want everything to go smoothly, so they get Jedi to come to kind of, you know, kind of police the area. Obi-Wan and Anakin, true, and his master, whose name I can't remember right now, he doesn't speak that much, which is why I don't remember him. And then Siri and Ferris. And they're all, they're all there, and they, you know, they're just kind of touring the games. Well, Obi-Wan gets a whiff and finds out that there are illegal pod racing happening on, the, on that planet outside of the official rules of the games. And they ask the Jedi, say, hey, look, can you shut that down? Because it's unsanctioned and they shouldn't be doing it. And if they're going where we think they're going, it's going to be dangerous out there. So we kind of wish you kind of shut that down. Well, of course, Anakin is instantly excited because it's like, ooh, pod racing. And even though he tries to hide it, it says Obi-Wan looks at him in the next chapter. Everyone looks at him and says, and he saw Anakin try to control his excitement, but he knows he's very excited, and that does not make Obi Wan happy. Um, this one had a ton of humor in it. Dee Dee and Astri are in it. Astri has married Bog, and this is our first appearance of him. There are some phenomenal Dee Dee moments in this one. Dee Dee's the dad. He pulls Obi Wan aside, asks him for old time's sake to help him out because he he bought a swoop and the swoops uh, was no good. It it, it uh, kind of fell apart on his first ride, so he wants to get his money back. Will Obi Wan kind of be with him and just kind of look intimidating? He went, mm, I don't know. He's like, I guess, DD. I guess I'll do that for you. He's like, Oh yeah, and can you also kind of you know hold your inspect your lightsaber every once in a while? You know, just to kind of look intimidating. He went, No, I won't do that. <laughs> he goes, Okay, well just come on, just come, just come see me then. He goes, Okay, well uh, I'll I can I can give you ten minutes of my time. He's like, Oh oh Obi Wan, I've always said you were the finest, greatest. And then Obi Wan goes nine minutes and fifty seven seconds. Like <laughs> the the clock's ticking, buddy. Uh, it was really funny because later on it finds out Dee Dee didn't have a, a he didn't have a bad swoop. In fact, Obi Wan's like, "Where is the swoop? Aren't we gonna give him back the uh, you know the crappy swoop you bought?" He's like, uh, "Later, later. I'll get him back to it later." What what's happened is Dee Dee borrowed money unbeknownst to Bog and Astri to make a bet, and so now they Bog and Astri are looking for that money and. He didn't have the money, so what he does instead is he's trying to get his money back so they won't notice. Well, uh, when that doesn't work, because Obi Wan's looking intimidating, but the guy's not intimidated. Dee Dee asks him, "Can you look at your? Can you? Can you? Can you hold up your lightsaber?" And Obi Wan looks at him and smiles and goes to Dee Dee and goes, "No." <laughs> to which. That's when Obi Wan then learns the truth. He goes, "Dee Dee, you just need to fess up that you spent all that money." He said, "Yes, you're right, Obi Wan. I, I will." Obi Wan knows he's not. Dee Dee goes instead. Well, no. Later on, when they get back to the games, uh, a few minutes later, they find out that uh, Bog and Astri's land speeder has disappeared. It was stolen. Oh my goodness! In a high security area, how could this happen? So she says, uh, "Well." Then they ask the Jedi to look into it, and Obi Wan goes, "Sure." And Siri's like, "Obi Wan, that's going to take up hours, waste hours of our time." And Obi Wan goes. Mm, maybe just a minute. And he walks over to Dee Dee and goes, what did you do? And it's hilarious because Dee Dee's like, well, I thought, why not steal the land speeder where their money was so they won't know that their money's missing? He said, just bring the land speeder back. Oh, my good friend Obi-Wan, I made another bet. But it's a sure bet this time. Hilarious. I mean, hilarious all the way through. So later on, we're going to figure out that Bog un unknowingly has been uh, setting up bets or something. There's some, some kind of ruse going on that Bog doesn't know about, but the council has set up the game. See, they've rigged them all. And they're trying to set up certain senators as taking the fall for this whole rigged game thing because they're trying to get some law passed in the Senate right now, and they're going to try to blackmail those senators with this you know, setup. But there's a second story going on at the same time where Anakin is investigating the pod races. Of course, he wants to. Obi-Wan tells him not to, but he goes anyway. And he meets the descendants of Rat Tyrell, who was one of the pod racers in the uh, episode one. In fact, since 10, 14 years have passed, there is a picture 
of, you know, when, when Rat says hello to his, you know, says goodbye to his family, his family's all worried about him. Remember, he died in that race. Well, the two sons are now racing for their dad, and basically they're racing uh, to free their sister, who was also featured in episode one, in that one little shot there. And so she is a slave, and they're trying to get her freedom. And Anakin thinks that is a, a valiant thing to do, and he's just trying to make a reason to where he uh, be in the pod race or whatever, be a part of it. When Anakin comes, I mean, Obi-Wan comes to him and goes, get out of it, get, get out of here, get away from these people. He does understand that uh, oh, uh, Anakin makes fast friends, but he also says, Anakin, you need to watch these type of people. He said, they could be using you for something. He went, Obi-Wan, they're not using me. They're, you know, I, know that, I, know, I knew their dad. I raced against them. What are you talking about? They, they, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good cause. Well, later on, it turns out that Obi-Wan, I mean, Anakin has to help them because Sebulba's there. Yes, and Anakin sees his old pod racer. He puts two and two together and realizes that Qui-Gon had sold it to Sebulba all those years ago. He never knew where his pod racer went because Qui-Gon sold it uh, when Anakin was going, to, uh, going back to his mom's, I guess, to pack for his freedom. And so he finds out that Sebulba's there, but Sebulba's not racing. His son is. So it's like a second generation thing. Well, during a little scuffle, one of Rat's sons breaks his arm, can't, you know, pilot the pod racer. So, of course, Anakin has to jump in. Another funny scene is when Obi-Wan goes into the betting parlor and goes, let me see, what's the bets on this guy? He's like, well, he's not the racer anymore. Do you still want to make that bet? He went, who's the new racer? And Obi-Wan knows the answer. But he's like, who? He goes, and someone called Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> and Obi-Wan's like, mm, it's just great. Like I said, so much humor in this. Of course, uh, Anakin is racing in the pod race. We find out that, uh, well, they think that Sebulba is, uh, the unique thing about this pod race is they're getting information on where to turn, where to go next, and what to do. And, but he thinks that Sebulba and his son are getting that information early and thereby cheating the games. Like, they know when exactly to turn left or when they should be veering this way. So during the games, he's using his Jedi instincts and, of course, when the information hits, he's kind of jumping the gun and slowly pulling ahead of Sebulba's son, Halinka, Halunka, or whatever his name is. And there's some, uh, you know, uh, w then it finds out, Obi-Wan finds out that it was destined for um, Tyrell's son's pod racer to be locked up. There's this, uh, looks like everyone from the council up is in on this rigged game. Even the pod race has been rigged to where someone's uh, pod, uh, pod race is going to be destroyed, and that is Tyrell's. He knows Anakin's driving it, so he calls Anakin while Anakin's realizing, yes, Master, it's me, it's falling apart. But, of course, Anakin's such a good pilot that he makes it through in time, spinning across the finish line barely because his pod racer was out of control at the end, but makes it through, gets first place. So Bulba calls him a cheater because he knows who Anakin is, slave boy cheater. Anakin's all angry. Of course, Obi-Wan puts a hand on him and says, calm down. And he kind of looks over, and there's True going, hey, you did great, Anakin. And Ferris going, hmm, yes, I'm looking at you. I know one day you'll turn to Darth Vader. I really don't like Ferris. I really think he's an off. I, I don't like him. He's, he's not a character you can even relate to. But anyway, uh, besides all that, it turns out that Anakin was being used. The Tyrell sons had gone to the council. They had agreed to give him. Anakin was getting updates before anyone else. So Anakin didn't know it, but he was cheating, which is how he got that. Uh, how he got into the lead. And then later on, uh, the council decided, okay, we'll give you those cheats, but we're also going to double cross you and destroy your pod because we want Sebulba to win or his son to win or whatnot because he he gave us money too. It's you know uh, layers of deceit, deception here. Again, this is, I forgot how good this one was. It's a, it's a really good, really fun adventure with everyone. Uh, this is like the second, or maybe it will be, so more than once, but definitely the second back-to-back -back time that Anakin has trusted someone and they've turned out to be not who they thought they were. The first time you could kind of see it, but this time even I totally forgot how this ended and it was a lot of fun. Dangerous, the dangerous games. Really awesome book by Jude Watson. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's the best so far. It's the best so far I've read, but uh, will it be the best of the whole series? I have no idea. But I'm going to find out next time with another video.